Ghanaian schools have reopened, especially for final year students at the university level, the secondary school level, and very soon the junior high school level. There are some precautions that are supposed to be taken for students who are back and also for schools that have reopened. We've come here at the Accra Technical University, where one person has tested positive for COVID-19, which has been confirmed by the school. How is the Accra Technical University managing this? How are students reacting to this announcement? How are administrative staff reacting as well? That's what we have come here on the City Newsroom today to do. Now, this is the frontage of one of the blocks at the Accra Technical University. Uh, at the entrance, you have a, the Veronica bucket, as usual, which is critical. Let me see if there's water flowing. Yes, indeed. Now, there's a bottle of soap, there's a tissue. And then, before you go up, at the foot of the stairs, uh, they have this... Um, okay, there's a sanitizer pouring out of that. The Accra Technical University also runs a hostel system. And uh, as you can see, the entrance of the hostel, they have properly placed a Veronica bucket. Almost every student moving around this campus is in a mask. If not all students I've seen so far are wearing masks. At the entrance of every school block or classroom block, uh, they also have the Veronica buckets and um, various inscriptions asking people to uh, wear masks at all times. So what I'm going to do is to go upstairs and see what the processes are so far. So the news is out there that a national service staff working with the Accra Technical University has tested positive. What do the students know? What have they been told? Anything beyond the public statement we saw? And what is the thought or the reaction from the students? I've just run into a group of students here. Let me talk to you. Hello. Do you know, have you heard that a staff of your school has tested positive? And what would be your reaction? Um, actually, we had a communicate. Uh, um, the center said communicate this Sunday that uh, staff or uh, service personnel has um, had a contact with this COVID-19. Um, it's actually scary, you know, because we are all scared having this COVID um, thing on campus. It is very scary. So there's a lot of pressure on campus, and we are somehow scared. Yeah, on campus, especially those in the hostel. We are somehow scared because you don't know who might be contracted as well. So, so now you don't know who this person is. Do you want to know so that perhaps it could guide you whether uh, you've had an interaction with the person or not, or you're fine? Um, I think some, for, for some reasons it's, it's good to know the person, not because of staying away from him or her when he or she is okay, but then it's good to know the person so that you know whether you've had contact with the person some days back or not but then we don't they've not informed us the kind of person he or she is so we don't know yeah. very well thank you so much for speaking to us. so those are students of um, Accra technical university uh, it is really a complex one the official communication is out there that a national service staff of the school has tested positive for covid 19 uh, students are having to be extra cautious and extra careful. These are students who are queuing uh, to pick up their nose masks and their hand sanitizers supplied by the, supplied by the department, uh, the accounting and finance department of the Accra Technical University. And uh, each student here is supplied with these ones. So already they have their masks that they wore to school, um, but the school provides them with extra must. Now any, any student who comes to the school is uh, made to go through a register to take their name and then uh, proceed into the registration. Every student is entitled to uh, two pieces or three pieces of uh, nose mask and the sanitizer. You, you came with the one you're wearing? Or was, yes, please. Sir. Or you, you brought this one from home? Yes. I see. And uh, how does this make you feel? Protected. You feel protected? How many did you bring yourself? Did you bring um, a sanitizer yourself? Was, uh, yeah, I brought a sanitizer in my bag and then an additional nurse wax. Oh, wow. So you're very well protected. Yes, please. I see. How do you feel generally, though, coming back to school? Hmm. I think it's for the best. Yeah. That, that's a procedure. Uh, anyone who returns to school has to come here and they, the school is giving them um, sanitizers and masks provided by the government. But 
the, the thing with the Accra Technical University is that they are also supplying their own locally or school-made uh, sanitizer which they are distributing or giving to the students. Well, so we've seen the official communication from the school. That is prior to the announcement to students and the general public about the national service staff testing positive for COVID-19 here in the Accra Technical University. But what has been the aftermath like? What's the management of this information like? We've come to have a conversation officially with the school. How has the reaction been like since uh, you issued this announcement that you have a positive case on campus? Well, um, people are a little bit surprised, but we are calm here. We're taking it in calmly. For some people who just read headlines and don't go beyond the headlines, they would think that it is because you have reopened school and that one of the students have tested. Can you reassure them about where this is coming from and whether it has anything to do or not with the reopening? Um, I don't think this has to do with the reopening. Um, officially, lectures started this week. But the um, COVID confirmed patient had the case, let's say about two weeks ago, that he was not, she was not feeling well and had to report to a clinic. Oh. Her samples were taken. It was only on uh, Sunday that she was called um, with the news. So we got the information on Monday and Tuesday we issued the statement. So I don't think this has to do with the students coming back to campus. What about people who are worried that uh, they are working in your administration? This lady was working in the administration. How are you managing their, their, their attitude and perhaps anxiety over the announcement? The patient per se does not work in the central administration. She is a service personnel serving one of the academic departments. You have only few people there. So currently, the whole department has been, uh, let's say, closed down because we, they have sent their contacts to self-isolation. Do you have an isolation or treatment center what structures do you have? For those who are at the hostel, the students' hostels, there is a room that is prepared to receive first case suspects before they can be transferred to Adabraka Hospital that is close by. Then those who come from the house, the clinic too has a room earmarked for that exercise. So we are fully prepared. Parents who are watching us, what will be your, your, your statement to them, especially parents who are worried that the awards are back to school and the next day they're hearing of a positive COVID-19 case on campus? I will assure the parents that the students are in safe place. Maybe we will have to appeal to them to add their voice to the students that they should do well to observe all the protocols that we have put in place. Thank you so much uh, for that assurance. There's no cause for alarm, that's what she says. And of course, we're bringing it to you here on the City Newsroom on City TV. We are the the embassies, they also send reports from the first embassies. Yeah. The embassy for their technology are transformed the mode of the communication. Okay. Bonsoir, Monsieur. Well, bonsoir, ça va? That's, that's the only French I can speak. Okay. Uh, <laughs> je ne comprends pas. Je ne parle un peu, un peu français. Parle un peu, c'est très bien, c'est très bien. Merci. So, we are from City TV. Uh, it's exciting seeing you teaching French. Uh, unfortunately, I can't speak, but how, how are things looking? Yeah. So, you see where, where I'm sitting now. Yeah. So, there's a, di there's a distance. Hmm? Yeah. Because if I'm teaching, it's not 
lucky that I'll be using the, yeah, the mask okay. of it. Okay. Yeah. Because there's a distance yeah. between so you and because them. Because of the distance is there. So I'm satisfying the distance. Okay. Yeah. So okay. this one, anything that I'm saying cannot affect or the virus cannot go, yeah. go and true. affect the student. Okay. That's and you see now, every student has got his or her chair, table and chair. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when they keep to, to that, yeah, it's another way of also preventing the, this thing, the spread of the, the virus. So over here too, you're observing the 25 students? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think we are supposed to be 30. I don't think we are even up to 25. Okay. Mm, okay. We see that we are, we are even few. I see. Yeah. I see. So you are learning French? Yeah. Preparing for the exam? Yes. Is it, is it uncomfortable, strange, or it's fine? You're getting used to it? We just started. So maybe with time, we shall get used to it. So you spend an hour in the class? In the class. I see. Yeah, I see. in the class. Mm. Any student wants to speak to me about their reaction? How is it like having to cover your head, your face? and? Uh... Um, it's not been easy because we are not used to that kind of lifestyle, but then we are hopeful and trusting God to have mercy on us and then take away this COVID-19 mm -hmm. so that we can go back to normal times. Do you miss the days before covid Yes, I really do because I can't even hug my friend. I can't shake hands with. Oh, okay. I'm sorry for you. Sorry. <laughs> Let me end it here for now and uh, let you continue with your lessons. So I'll just say uh, merci beaucoup. Uh, nous avons. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. While the school was on break, lots of activity was happening in the labs that they have, like like this one where lots of work was done producing, we are told, lots of chemicals that the school is using now to fight COVID-19. Dr. Zubair Ibrahim is a lecturer here at the Technical University, the Accra Technical University, also a union leader. Tell, tell, tell us, uh, so this is one of your several labs or this is just one? Yeah, this is a chemistry lab where the production of the hand sanitizers that we distributed around was produced. Throughout, during the break, lecturers and technicians were busy working the university administration, give out money for them to produce them, and they did a lot. We have mechanical engineering part that produce the mechanical, what we call the Veronica bucket and the stand. As you go around, you see all of them, we didn't buy them from outside, we produce them here. And this nose masks were produced here too, at the fashion department down there. You also produce sanitizers? Yes, and, and sanitizers. So we do, you see? Um, every wall you go around, you see this thing. Mm -hmm. So we fill them from here okay. and then place them all over. When they finish, we replenish them. You're a technical school, so you're already producing a lot of the technical schools. Can you even, can you test for COVID if you're given the chance? Yes, yes. We have, we have specialists here. We have specialists who are practitioners and teaching here full time. And you have the appropriate, uh, um, what, labs or yes, equipment? We have, we have a microbiology lab who deals with viruses and the rest of them. They also, um, they test, they do the test. You have a track record, but you, you may not have a track record for COVID or for viruses like this, do you? Um, you see, them. Um, when it comes to testing, any laboratory test, once you are a specialist in the virology and all those things, they, they can do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who has issued a statement that a national service staff here has tested positive? Now, just as we are speaking, I'm receiving information that uh, another COVID-19 case has been recorded at your school, this is Accra Technical University. The patient, we are told, is in the accountancy department, that's your department, and that the patient tested yesterday, and the, the student is in purchasing and supply department. Is that information that has come to your notice? No, no, I don't think that's correct. We've not heard of any such case, and I don't think it has been reported to us. I am very sure that if administration had got any such information as the head of the department, they would call me to go as a head to go and then see, verify, identify the student. But nothing of such has, 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 has come to our notice. Could it be that the administration is keeping this away from you? It can be because we work um, hand in hand with the PR department or the directorate and the VC's office and the provisions loss office. If there's anything they will relate to us, 